the 2024 U.S. presidential election. Well, we all know what happened after the 2020 election. Now, I am not going to get into who you or anyone else may think actually won the 2020 election, nor am I going to get into who you or anyone else may think will win the 2024 election. That is not what our latest Farsight Project Into the Future is meant to be. Rather, our concern is what happens after November 2024, or more specifically during the months of December 2024 and January 2025. What happened? When I, it's obviously burned. And when I move to like the moment of the most intense burn, all I'm seeing is red, inferno, red hot and the, sub the subjects that were in this area obviously died immediately. You can feel just like a boop out of existence. And it, it's like that because nobody can survive an inferno like this. Just red, all I'm seeing in my sight is red, 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 hot, hot, red, uh, yeah. We are assuming that the 2024 U.S. presidential election will be disputed no matter who wins. So looking into the future to see who wins the election in 2024 is not really interesting to us. No matter what our remote viewers perceive, half of the U.S. public will likely to believe it to be true, and the other half will likely believe it to be fake. Some think that the country is polarized more seriously than at any time since the American Civil War. So what can we perceive that is of use to us and to the rest of the country right now, no matter what the vote tally outcome? Well, let's look at recent history. The disturbance involving the Capitol building happened on January 6, 2021, and the build-up to that was all throughout December 2020. So the really hot time where the greatest potential for off-the-scale politics should be during the two months following the November 2024 election. What we want to see is the state of the nation after the election, or more pointedly, is the U.S. still a nation, or do we move into a status more normally associated with stressed out developing countries, disputed sovereignty? Everything's on fire and broken. So there's just fire, 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 holes of fire, ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. It seems like some of the foliage is on fire. It just feels like there's just a lot of chaotic destruction. He's like, choo, 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 shape shift over here, boom, behind you. Like he's like really trying to trip me up. Whoever this is, has very ugly features. Uh, they have the ability to change the way they look. Basically, we want to see if we are a country at peace or are we a country where the citizens are at each other's throats. Consider how serious the situation is. After the 2020 U.S. presidential election, 124 retired U.S. admirals and generals released a letter stating that President Joe Biden stole the 2020 election. Again, I'm not going into what happened in the election, but the fact that so many retired senior military officers, even if retired, signed a petition claiming that they sided with one side of the debate over the election tells us that if a similar dispute happens regarding the 2024 election, the U.S. military may fragment, and some officers siding with one belief regarding the election outcome, and the other officers siding with a different belief regarding the election. In a worst-case scenario, which does not seem too far-fetched any longer, we could have U.S. military units fighting each other. Even if this does not happen, it will take a Herculean effort to keep the armed forces in one piece. Emotions are just about guaranteed to be intense. Loud voices, movement, something feels very tactical. I'm seeing uniformed subjects here. Um, objects that appear as weapons, dark weapons, dark colored clothing, bulky. I feel like there's someone here causing trouble throughout the land or there's trouble being caused around a subject. And of course, that doesn't even begin to address how the U.S. public will react. Will people just peacefully accept the election outcome? Will the losers simply say that they will try again next time? Or will the anger at the election outcome, whatever the outcome, spill into the streets? And more. These are all the questions that we want to know. And 
the United States is marching into uncharted territory, and we need to know what the likely outcome is going to be, given the current state of American politics. I can't tell what they are, because every time I look at them, they look different. So, <laughs> is it a shapeshifter? Like, yeah, because, yeah, I don't know. I, I just sense uh, some fear and nervousness directed at the fact that they're standing so close to this subject. We'll call this subject, Subject E. So this group of jet black attired human subjects are quite afraid and nervous of this subject, Subject E, and they're just nervous about standing next to him. These are the questions that drive the current Farsight Remote Viewing Mysteries project. I think we have some answers for you. And if you will be patient, I will show you what we have found out. Stay calm. Put aside your belief or disbelief in the reality of the remote viewing phenomenon. The stakes are too high for you to push these results away just because you are unacquainted with the methodology.